So, so you start to realize that uh, it's, it's very much like a mathematical equation. Uh, one times zero equals zero. Uh, one million times zero equals zero. And a billion times zero equals zero. And a billion And a billion times zero equals zero. Yes. So when people say, is the world getting worse or is the world getting better? I say neither. So when people say, is the world getting worse or better? I say neither. The world is entirely neutral. Yes. Because it's all the same. And so you see that uh, in the end, uh, Mother Teresa and Hitler are the same. They were both persons. One reflected uh, lots of love. We could say uh, Mother Teresa was a symbol of love. And for many, uh, Adolf Hitler was a symbol of hatred. Uh, murder, destruction. But uh, it's not the personalities that are, have any reality. What did you say about the personalities that they are not of any rea rea reality? Or? Well, there's a state of mind that goes beyond symbols of love and symbols of hate. Because as long as you believe in the duality of the symbols, you are not seeing correctly. Uh, we could say in the mind there seems to be ego and spirit. Really, there's only spirit. But ego is the belief in illusions. So when you deny the split in your own mind, and try to see it in the world, that's when you get symbols of love and symbols of hate. But true love is beyond all symbols. True love does not have an opposite. So evil is not the opposite of love. You might say we've all heard about good and bad. But there is a state of mind that is beyond good and bad. This is why there, in the end, is no good morality or bad morality. Because it's all concepts. And when you release the concepts, then you have an experience of of who you really are. Now the tricky part is believing in levels and, and degrees. To believe that irritation is different from rage. Well, yes. <coughs> All emotions that are upsetting uh, are unreal. Alla upprörande känslor är overkliga. Because they are just uh, aspects of illusions, but illusions are really one. Eftersom de är aspekter av illusioner, men illusioner är egentligen bara en illusion. When people work with the Course in Miracles, uh, one of the most difficult things to grasp En av de mest svåra sakerna att uh, omfatta när man läser en kurs i mirakler. Is that there is no difference between thinking about murder and, and actually murdering. Är 
det är ingen skillnad mellan att tänka på mord eller att mörda. Uh, in this world it seems like it's much better to just think about it and not act on it. I den här världen så verkar det vara mycket bättre att bara tänka på att mörda än att mörda. Yes. But both would be equally disturbing to your peace of mind. Men båda är lika störande för din sinnesfrid. If you believe that they're real. tror på dem. Yes. So you start to realize that you have to have a mind training. Så börjar inse att du behöver ha en sinnesträning. To start to see that the world is not outside of your mind. Att börja se att världen är inte utanför ditt sinne. The world that you perceive is actually in your mind. Världen som du varsprider är faktiskt i ditt sinne. So if you perceive a war, you believe in war. Om du ser ett krig så tror du på krig. If you see a conflict between uh, uh, the Palestinians uh, and the Jews, uh, it's still a conflict uh, in the mind. Så om du ser en konflikt mellan palestinier och judar så är det fortfarande en konflikt or if you see a conflict between men and women, it's still a conflict in the mind. Yes. And when you allow your own mind to be healed, then the whole world is healed with it. Oh, it has. <laughs> it, it has happened, and it's just a matter of being aware of of what is what is there. Oh, det här helandet har redan skett, men det handlar egentligen bara om att bli medveten om vad som finns där. Now we have uh, quantum physics teaching us the very same thing. Nu har vi kvantfysiken som lär oss samma sak. What are the teachings? The same. For example. Uh, about six decades ago, uh, some experiments were done on subatomic particles. Yeah, very small. And um, there were some very surprising discoveries that were made. Uh, the way science is defined is that you must do experiments and collect empirical data. The set it som vetenskap uppbyggt är att du måste samla bevis för empiriska data. Yes. Because the the data prove the experiment. För de här datorna bevisar experimentet. Yes. And uh, the data must be very objective. It must be able to be replicated in many different experiments by different experimenters. And this is how the scientific method works. But a funny thing happened about six decades ago. Uh, the scientists were doing experiments with these small particles. Vetenskapsmännen gjorde undersökningar på de här små partiklarna. But they could not get the experimenter out of the experiment. De kunde inte få den som gjorde experimentet ut ifrån experimentet. The particles would show up wherever the experimenter expected them to show up. Partiklarna visade sig finnas var en den som gjorde experimentet tänkte sig att de skulle finnas. Just by the act of observing, that determined where the particles were. Endast genom att observera så bestämde det var någonstans partiklarna skulle vara någonstans. And this experiment was so shocking that the scientists did not want to tell anybody what they had discovered. Det här experimentet var så chockerande så att de inte kunde tala om det för någon. Vad de hade upptäckt. 